Hi Katie, today I want to talk to you about procrastination. So right now we're coming into final. I put that in quotation marks because I literally have two final projects and one actual test final. I know, I'm lucky. It could be much, much worse. Except we had to change my flights home so that I could stay for three finals on a Saturday during which we will most likely be watching movies. Anyway, I have three papers and a speech to write, three of which are done. Guess which three. I also have to memorize a paragraph for my languages final and a story about you for my voice and text class. Guess what I spent my afternoon doing? Watching Merlin. I burned through six seasons of Doctor Who, three seasons of Torchwood, and four seasons now of Merlin in the last few weeks. And do you know why? It is because I am an expert procrastinator. This is my pattern. I put my homework that I want to do the least at the bottom of the pile and then put it in ascending order and then I end up with something that I don't particularly want to do but I want to do much more than I want to do this thing down, down here at the bottom and I start with that thing up there. That is my pattern. While working on the slightly higher level homework, I take frequent breaks that are often hours long to watch episodes of my new favorite show, whatever that may be, or Tumblr or Facebook or really anything on the internet. Today, I actually forgot that I had a video because I was watching Merlin. Now, procrastination is an illness with many possible causes. I could be suffering an intense dread about finals that I know might be beyond the abilities of a nine-year-old. Or I could simply have not organized myself well and therefore do not know what I'm supposed to be doing, which I'll tell you right now is not the case. Many college students suffer from procrastination. I happen to know it, several people who will wait until an hour before class in order to turn out a three-page paper. Why they do this, I do not know, but apparently I do it too. Okay, diagnosis. I don't think I'm scared about finals. I think I'm scared about my persuasive speech. I'm presenting on Wednesday and I can't seem to get my position or the reasons why I hold that position straight in my head. I know I believe in my position, but I can't articulate why, let alone why someone else should take my position. So now that I've summed up my condition, I can crack down on this persuasive speech, knock it right out of the ballpark, and not watch another episode of Merlin tonight. Except now I have to edit this video. Tag your it!